the quick demonstration of the tutorial that I've just uploaded to Hackster. Uh, and in this case, we're using the TI Launchpad uh, as an input or a trigger to the If This Then That Maker channel. Uh, so the folks at If This Then That created a very uh, sort of general purpose channel with a RESTful interface. Um, and our Wi-Fi enabled Launchpad is able to interact using those APIs uh, to then basically trigger the various actions that are available in the If This Then That um, catalog. Uh, so in this case, what I've programmed my Launchpad to do and configured If This Then That to do uh, is to basically trigger a push notification to my phone when I push that button here. Um, so the tutorial that I've uploaded um, can be used with almost any of the TI Launchpads uh, as long as it has Wi-Fi connectivity. So in this case, I'm able to get that Wi-Fi connection um, by pairing my MSP432 Launchpad with the CC3100 Wi-Fi booster pack. Um, of course, the uh, CC3200 Launchpad can also be used um, as that does have the integrated Wi-Fi capability. Um, so, what I would like to go ahead and do is uh, basically go through the demo so you can see that I've uh, got Energia opened up. This is the software tool that I use to program my Launchpad. Uh, the code is available in the Hackster tutorial as well. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have the correct Launchpad selected by going to Tools, Board, and I'm using the MSP432 Launchpad and you can see that's selected. In addition to that, I'll also make sure my serial port is uh, connected. I'm going to click on that. And now I'm going to go ahead and compile this code and flash my launchpad. Um, so you will have to make a few modifications to the source code that I upload into Axter. Uh, specifically, you'll want to change your Wi-Fi SSID, uh, your password, as well as some of your if this then that uh, credentials. Um, but I walk you through that in the uh, tutorial as well. So while it's uploading, I'll click on this magnifying glass and that will open up the integrated serial monitor or terminal uh, once the code is done uploading. Um, so to enable that push notification, I'm using a uh, service or a iOS and Android app called Boxcar2. Um, so in the tutorial, I also teach you how to configure that um, and create that if this in that channel. Um, but it's a really nice sort of uh, iOS app for enabling push notifications, uh, which you will see on the phone here shortly. Um, so you can see on the serial monitor, everything's fine. I'm able to connect to my Wi-Fi network. Um, and now it's basically asking me to push the button. So I'm going to go ahead and push the button here. Um, and if you pay attention to the serial monitor when I do that, um, you're going to see that we are able to um, interact using that RESTful API. I'm going to go ahead and push the button in 3, 2, 1. There we go. We get the HTTP 200 OK, and we also get the push notification. I'm going to go ahead and select that on my phone. Um, and you can see that this just happened. You can see at 9.03 p.m. Um, the button was pressed. That was the event that was triggered. Um, we get a nice little timestamp. Um, you can see that with the help of that RESTful interface, I'm able to provide um, some data value pairs or key value pairs in a JSON format. Um, so right now I've got test values in the code example, but hypothetically you could actually put in more interesting data points, uh, whether that's sensor data um, or uh, something like that. But in this case, I've just hard-coded a couple of strings um, that you could very easily change in the code uh, that I've uploaded into Axter. Um, so that's that's it. Um, just a very simple application. You can even do it again. Um, so you can see that it's, uh, again, asking for that button to be pressed. Uh, that button is connected to an interrupt, so it's actually interrupt-driven. So here, I push the button again, um, and then again, we get the HTTP 200 OK, um, and the push notification happens almost immediately. Um, it's actually quite impressive uh, just how fast uh, that happens. So hopefully this is a really good starting point for you if you're interested in playing with the If This Then That channel um, or Maker channel. Um, obviously Boxcar is just one of the many actions that are available in the If This Then That catalog. Um, so using this code example as a starting point, uh, you could trigger things like a text message or maybe even send an email um, You know, when a certain uh, condition happens, uh, in this case I'm, I'm sensing a push button, uh, but hypothetically you could trigger some of those cloud side activities uh, based on sensor thresholds as well. Um, so hopefully um, you learned something. You can follow my tutorial and please post in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, thank you so much for watching.